In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the general formula for a Maclaurin series. This is question number one. What you'll need to be successful in this topic is knowledge of what the Taylor series looks like and how it relates to the Maclaurin series. Take a look at the Taylor expansion. This can be summarized as the sum of the following infinite series. And if we set the a of this function equal to zero, we end up with the Maclaurin series. And the infinite general formula looks like this. We'll be using this part to help us solve the question, which reads, find the Maclaurin series for f of x is equal to 7 plus 4x all raised to the power of negative 1. Now to find the general formula, you need at least the first three terms of the Maclaurin expansion for the function. So for example, I'll need to find out what this is, this, and two more. And we do that so we can find a general pattern. So to organize my work, I will be creating a table and n will represent the number of terms. So 0 is the first term, 1 is the second term, 2, 3. In the next column of my table, I will write down f n at x. So when n is equal to 0, in other words, the derivative of this function has not been taken, our function looks like this, 7 plus 4x raised to the power of negative 1. If I substitute 1 into n, that means I have to take the first derivative. And the first derivative of this function is equal to negative 1 bracket 7 plus 4x raised to the power of negative 2 times 4. Of course, this will require some work to do, but I've done it ahead of time just to save some time. The second derivative, substituting n into here, will give us negative 1 times negative 2, 7 plus 4x raised to the power of negative 3, 4 times 4. And the third derivative will be negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3, bracket 7 plus 4x raised to the power of negative 4, 4 times 4 times 4. Now that we have four terms for our expansion, I'll create a third column where I will evaluate these when x is equal to 0. If I evaluate this when x is equal to 0, I'll end up with 7 raised to the power of negative 1, which is 1 over 7. Or I'll just write it as 7 to the power of negative 1 just to be consistent. If I evaluate this when x is equal to 0, I'll end up with negative 1. This part becomes 7 raised to the power of negative 2 times 4. Substituting 0 into here gives me negative 1 times negative 2 times 7 raised to negative 3, 4 times 4, and over here I get negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 times 7 raised to the negative 4, 4 times 4 times 4. Using these, I need to come up with a general pattern. Since the 4s are increasing after each term, notice that it goes from 4, and then 4 times 4, 4 times 4 times 4, I can write this as 4 to the power of n. If I substitute 0 into here, I get 4 to the power of 0, which is 1. And that's exactly what happens here. We don't have a 4. So this part corresponds to 4 to the power of n. This part can be written as 7 raised to the power of negative n minus 1. And the reason why that works is because all of them are negative. You see? that is accounted for with this negative. And since we have 4 when it's 3 and 3 when it's 2, it's always 1 less than n. This part is taken care of. Now, to account for these three, that's by definition a factorial. Remember, if we have, let's say, 3 factorial, that's the same thing as saying 3 times 2 times 1. So at 3, we have 3 times 2 times 1. So I can write this out as n factorial. Now, to account for the fact that it goes from being positive to negative to positive and then back to negative, you see how negative times negative is positive and three negatives in a row is negative, we have to write down negative 1 raised to the power of n. Think about it. If I substitute 0 into here, I get negative 1 to the power of 0 is 1. That's neutral. If I substitute 1 into here, I get negative 1 to the power of 1, which is negative and then positive, and then negative. This represents fn at 0 of the general formula for the Maclaurin series, this part.
It's being divided to n factorial, and it's being multiplied to x to the power of n. So let's incorporate that. We have n factorial times x to the power of n. n factorial will cancel out, giving us our general formula. The sum is negative 1 to the power of n, 7 raised to the power of negative n minus 1 in brackets, 4 to the power of n times x to the power of n. This represents the general formula for our function. And there you have it. That is how to find the general formula for a Maclaurin series.